Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the five of wands out here first. Okay, let me get something with this five of wands. Oh, we have the 10 of pentacles here. It looks like somebody's fighting for some type of inheritance or something like that. Fighting for some type of legacy or fighting in the family fighting over a lot of money we have the nine of cups here like this could be about somebody being stable and maybe somebody is not there's somebody that's trying to get something out of this person that's doing well here yeah they feel like somebody is stable so it's like they're trying to find a way in they're trying to get past some type of obstacle here you have the strength card underneath the Ten of Pentacles. We could be talking about a Leo here. This is also the first major arcana to come out. There could be somebody that's trying to be very subtle about how they're controlling a situation here. And we have the King of Swords here. What's at the bottom? We have the Hangman. We have Pisces energy. The only two major arcana that's here is the strength card and the Hangman energy here. I feel like somebody's realizing they's, they've lost control, okay? They're looking at something completely different here. They could be surrendering to the fact that they're not going to win something. I do know that somebody's going to have to sacrifice something here. The first card that's coming out is the Five of Wands here. I know somebody's fighting for something. But that's in contradiction to the bottom of the deck, which is the hangman. I know they're not fighting to be uncomfortable. I know that's not why they're fighting. So I know it's something here that they're fighting for. They're probably not going to get. And they're going to have to sacrifice it here. This could have something to do with family, money, a lot of money, a lot of resources, maybe something big here. But it's like, there's something about your emotional stability this person can't get under your skin or they can't get through. It's like they can't break through. Something is, is just too solid here. They can't get into your energy. They've lost control here. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to build something. Like you ever had somebody to hustle you into doing something that you don't want to do? This person is realizing they can't do that. They're going to have to like... They're going to have to let this go. They're going to have to surrender. Okay. Another thing, there could be some type of like reversal or something like that that happened. Like the tables may have turned in some kind of way. We have the four of swords here. Somebody could not be speaking. Like there could be somebody that's not speaking or they're not communicating or there's some type of truce. Like it's like, let's say, let's say when you balance something out, right? That's not an invitation to come and try to do something else is what i'm getting let me get something with this ten of pentacles here it's like they're trying to to build something but it's it's not going through we have the three of pentacles here yeah and this is even coming out with the ten of pentacles so it's like it really could be family it could be like friends it's like it's about coming together it's about community it's about celebrating it's like that's what I'm thinking somebody wants to do, but like they have to force their way to do this. It's almost like somebody didn't get invited to the party and they're trying to force their way in the door, but they're realizing like the security is not going to let you through and you about to get locked up. Then we got the devil energy here. 
that's what I'm getting. Like somebody's really trying to force their way in. They're doing too much. Like the four sword is a clear indication. Somebody does not want to talk. Like somebody could be knocking at the door and it's like, you're not even answering the door. Somebody's calling. You're not even picking up the phone. Somebody texting. You're not texting back. Okay. Let me get something with this. Um, this nine of cups here. And the devil card is only the third major arcana here. And we have the king of swords again. Yeah, somebody's smart about this. Somebody even could be very business savvy or somebody could know the ways of a Capricorn. I don't know if you're a Capricorn, this other person a Capricorn. It's like somebody's outsmarting this energy from latching onto them. Okay, if I didn't already say this, we have Pisces energy and we have Leo energy and Capricorn energy here. And we got air signs because we got the king of swords out here twice, right on top of each other at that. So it's like somebody is clear minded. They're aligned with like their heart here. You got the hangman energy here. Wow. Somebody is like letting this go. Like they're sacri It looks like somebody is sacrificing a connection or somebody is finally seeing the truth about someone. They're finally seeing the truth. Like you may not have seen the image of this person. Like, okay, like imagine being a parent, right? And like, let's say you divorced a partner. You know, let's say their ugly side or you know why they why you divorced. But let's say a child is not going to see the truth until it's time for them to see, right? This is somebody that is clear about whoever this, I don't know if it's a Capricorn or an earth sign, somebody that's just trying to latch and have possession, trying to control the situation. It's like, no, let me get something. Okay, yeah, we have the four of wands here with the, the nine of sword. Damn, are they locked out? This person look like they trying to break in. It's something here that's very developed here. Maybe you put a lot of time and energy into something, but it's like it's perfected. It's perfected. Your energy cannot be tampered with or it can't be penetrated in some kind of way. Let me get something here. You could have also stepped into like your profession or you could have got a better job or something. What is this? You got the temperance energy here. Like somebody could be seeing you on your path or you're like in your professional path or something like that. And this person cannot be on your journey. They can't be on your path. They could be trying to break in and like it's come on now. We have the eight of cups here. Yeah, somebody left the situation because they deserve better. That's the thing. Like, oh my God, it's such a hard lesson, but it's like you can't take everybody with you and you can't go with everybody on their journey to enlightenment on their journey to ascension people need that freedom okay to grow that's what i'm seeing here because anybody that has the eight of cups they're walking away because they feel like they deserve better and there's nothing left here i've given it everything i have and it still has not giving giving me what i need so you have to keep moving here and this person could still be trying to have some type of power or control over the situation but they can't you have stepped into your power and you broke a spell here you have the high priestess energy that's what i was saying the high priestess energy with this king of sword and his double king of sword at that like i don't know if your spirits are speaking to you because these nine cups they could represent consciousness like you know different spirits like i don't know if something is speaking to you or something told you to walk away or it's like you just know because you've been through this time and time again or you've been through this already before you already know what it is it's like there is nowhere okay how can i say this the best way nobody said that you have to keep letting somebody in your energy if you already know what they're doing there's a lot of people that want forgiveness, 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 and then they get it and they backstab you. A lot of people have done that. Okay. And maybe they were genuine when they wanted that forgiveness, but then when they realized they could get in, but how many times, look, let me get something with this. Um, 
it's just I feel like somebody has already experienced this because you can't be a king of sword. You can't be a master of intelligence. Okay, a master of your emotions if you have not been through this. We have the moon card. Oh, yes, the high priestess and the moon. That's like best friends. Okay, because the high priestess looks right into the moon and they can see exactly what is hidden. Okay, they can. This is a very person. I don't know if this is an air sign or just somebody that's hella smart. Shit, you could be a Virgo out here. But whatever this is, this is somebody that it, like somebody might think. They might think that they're hiding what they're trying to do, but there's no hiding it from you. There's no hiding it from you. There's a reason why, okay, this King of Sword, he's out here twice. You see that Four Sword? That's the King of Sword not entertaining this Five of Wands. They're not entertaining it. They're not entertaining somebody wanting to build something. They want to be, uh, they want to be close. They want to build something together. They're not entertaining that. There is no malice here. There's just, it's just an understood thing. This five, it's just understood. It's understood because they can see the truth. They can see what this person is trying to do. And this is an earth sign. It's Knight of Pentacles and Devil Energy. There is an earth sign here. What's this at the bottom? You got the Knight of Cups. Okay. It's like releasing somebody in love here. Like it's nothing, it's no hard feelings or nothing like that. Like, okay, how can I say this? Just because you have to uh, move forward or you have to do better in your life, it doesn't mean that like you have to shit on people or something like that or you have to talk bad about somebody or it has to be a terrible breakup or it has to be a terrible se separation. What they call that in um, like legal term when you divorce somebody and it's like it's on good terms, though. Maybe not good. What is it called? Irreconcilable differences or something like that. Yeah, like it's something... But this person is not trying to take that. They're not trying to take that. That's not an answer that they want. But you're too perceptive for them to do what they're trying to do. You're too perceptive here. Okay? You release somebody with love. You know, it's like, how can I say? Sacrifice is a very important thing in life. If you don't let things go, you can't gain anything and i'm not just saying drop everything and drop like you know things matter but like not energies like this not energies where they're trying to latch on where they're trying to bind you where they don't it's not about love it's about binding that's not healthy okay and they don't understand why something is not working OK, it's not just because you're perceptive. It's just not meant to happen. You're perceptive in order to see the bullshit, in order to know what not to go into, what not to enter. OK. This person does not understand that they want to build something, but they don't understand like this hat this in your journey. This is something that has to be sacrificed because there's irreconcilable differences. Like it's not, it's y'all is looking, y'all is focused on two different things. Y'all are focused on two different things. Okay. You have the seven of cups here. Choose wisely. Yes. That's the energy of not seeing clearly, not knowing which direction to go, not knowing what to choose trying to gain perspective here this person i want to say there's somebody that's that might be a little bit lost like in their feelings like they might be lost for what they feel for you they might be trying to understand or see through the fog but motive is like everything you have destiny here the wheel of fortune and i remember saying something about the tables turned or something reversed like this person wants something to change but i don't know if it's meant to here and it says the waiting game like i don't know who's who i don't know who i'm talking to all i know is there there's a person here that knows what they must do and they're very balanced they're very intelligent here
could be a Pisces or an air sign. And then there's another person that wishes things were different, that wishes your path and their path intertwine. Like when your path intertwines, that's something you don't control. And when it separates, that's something that you don't control. You can try to control it, but things can get sour because it's you're supposed to follow your destiny. And when something is, because I know some um, King of Sword, High Priestess and the Moon, I know somebody can hear. I know you can hear those messages very, very clearly. Okay, as if you have a damn antenna, you know. And a lot of times, if you're a person that's very seasoned, this has happened to you, let's say earlier in life where you didn't listen to those messages and you got fucked up. And now you're a master of that. You're a master of intelligence. You know what this is. You know you just, it's irreconcilable differences. It's not a fight. It's not a threat. It's not anything terrible, but that's your perspective on it. This person is trying to like latch on. They're trying to bind themselves. They may not even understand that. Let me get something here. You have the seven of pentacles here. So 77 could be very significant here. Like somebody doesn't know which way to go. Somebody, I don't know how to say. It's like somebody's trying to latch on to you because it's something they're not seeing clearly about them. Okay. It's like they're basing a lot of their, let's say, movement and decision around you. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. And it's like you you must know something here. You must know something because you're not you're not saying anything, you're not answering, you're not speaking, you're not communicating, you're resting, you're healing. You know what I'm saying? But this person, it's like they have this plan, they have this motive here. Once again, you got the Leo energy here. It says power. Maybe they want power over your destiny. Like, remember how I said they wish this wasn't part of your journey for you to have to go or for you to have to like move on or it's like if you don't, you'll be standing in the same spot for the rest of your life. Well, as long as you stay with this person, you'll be standing in the same spot and you will not excel. That's the thing. You can wait as long as you want. You can waste as much time as you want, but those lessons will still be right there that you have to overcome like you cannot let this energy latch on to you you just can't and you know it i'm talking to somebody that knows like this is only confirmation for somebody because if you're coming out like a king of sword a high priestess and the moon come on you already know this you already know two of pentacles here it says movement choices and decisions here okay somebody is planning on moving forward here Somebody is planning on building something or getting to something. It's something that has to do with profession. Like you have to go. That's what I'm getting here. This person is like, damn, like I wish this wasn't so. I wish this person didn't have to go away. I wish this person doesn't have to spend so much time doing what they're doing, building, getting some type of structure. Oh, I wish it's like they don't understand. Like you can't you can't do that. You have to go on your journey. You have to go on your journey. It's nothing, it's no hard feelings or nothing like that. What is this at the bottom? It says material and spiritual prosperity. And that's learning the sacredness between giving and receiving. Okay? Like someone could be venturing off into this energy. Somebody could be reaping the benefits of something here also. Like their good energy be could be coming back to them in some kind of way. Like maybe this is what somebody needs to work on because it's like, I don't know how to say you shouldn't be waiting on nobody. I know it's a lot of people waiting on somebody. You shouldn't be waiting on nobody because spiritually and emotionally, you're going to stand in the same damn spot, waiting in the same spot for this person to come back. They done been on a whole damn journey and you're sitting here waiting for this. No, don't do that to yourself. I don't even know. Let me get an angel message here.
it says blessings and abundance here and it says divine timing like it's really a message for both people okay it's really a message for both people for the one that is waiting around and they're trying to find a way in and they're trying to be patient and they're trying to do this why are you waiting on somebody what are you doing live your life okay and for the other person don't feel bad because you have to go on this journey don't feel bad you know what you must do and if you don't do it you're the only one that's being punished like yeah i'm gonna leave this one right here if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe thank you so much for your like shares and subscribes i truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective i love you guys and i'll be back with another reading later Bye.